everybody. So we're back at the bridge, so you know what that means. I'm out again. Uh, hands out of plaster. So yeah, I can hopefully go up and uh, set up this wee camp that I always want to set up. So I'll be hammocking today. Uh, see what we can get set up. I'm, I'm going out, it's quite late, but I've still got a few hours, so it'll be alright. So um, yeah, that's plan of day. Sort of establish a wee camp. I'm not doing anything fancy because as I say, this one ain't too far out and uh, it'll just get wrecked in the summer probably. I can see that happening, so. Yeah, we'll get on, get on with that. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so, I'm still on my way, just through this wee open bit of ground where, uh, like it rained up until yesterday, but um, just this grass sticking up, there's always a nice, just steady breeze coming through here, so I've, uh, some dry grass and whatever these wee things are. Just want to hang it from left over, so that's going to be some tinder. Might as well grab it on the way. I don't even need to stick it in a pocket, and it's absolutely bone dry as far as I can feel. <sighs> so, this is us just entering the wee bit of woods. Still a path that goes on here. I need to do a wee bit of maneuvering to uh, get, to, get to my. My spot. Again, anyone have any, any anyone have any idea what what type of trees these are with this? I don't know if that's part of the tree or that's ivy on it. I'm more wanted to know because uh, you know they're all over here. I'm more wanted to know because around camps, you know, are they are they the type of tree that sheds branches? You know, you're likely to get knocked out in the middle of the night or. Yeah. See this tree here. These seem some fungus brackets, back fungus bra fung bracket fungus. Oh my god, back home, but it's on the size of that thing. That's about 14 inch across, 15 inch across. Loads of them, yeah. And the one down here on the, the log. Absolutely loads of them in this wood. But uh, yeah, so this is what I mean. I see there's been someone down here having fires. Although I might come down and nick a few of these boat, these house bricks from my from the fire. We'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna plod on and uh, get to where I'm going and bring you guys back when I'm there and uh, thinking about getting sorted. Oh well everyone, that's us here. Uh, this is the spot I done on the the one day, you know the wee one day trip I just took. Um, so I'm back up here to try and establish a wee camp. I'll show you around a wee bit. Uh, so yeah, we've got some living there, we've got some big bit of fallen birch down there which is going to come in handy for tinder. If I can finally get some birch bark to actually work. Uh, we've got the log with my feet, we've got, that's my bag, another bag of Caramore SF Predator. Now we've got another wee badge on there, I've got Got our British one, we've got our Polish one as well. Gotta represent. And there, uh, oops, just on the side there, that's my that's the Molly attachment for the the wee shovel I got. I got the shovel because I want to be able to sort of dig wee fire pits and maybe scrape away topsoil, things like that. So um oops, excuse me. What I'm gonna do here is I'm not gonna put you through the entire setup. But um, I'll maybe put you on time lapse just momentarily. Maybe put you on time lapse and uh, we'll do a wee setup. So, basic setup done. Uh, as you can see, I've got plenty of space to walk right under this, which I like. Uh, probably gonna have a fire actually over this bit here because the wind's going kind of this way. Uh, I've still got to put my quilt on, my hammock quilt and that on, but that's just another two minutes and maybe straighten this out a little bit more. Um, I know my hammock looks really high. You can see, it looks there. 
But one of the trees I've got it through here has got quite a bit of flex in it, so as you can see when I sat in it, it went down a fair bit like so. Um, one, let's hope that doesn't break in the night. And two, don't worry, it's fine. I'm not sleeping like stupidly high off the ground. <laughs> So guys, I've been a, uh, when we trip up the woods there, there's like, there's a spot that looks like, well, it's it's been a camp, someone tried to build a camp. Um, quite a long time ago, but unfortunately when I look round it, you can see, I like so this has been cut off with the saw, these have been living trees, a lot of these. So, uh, yeah, I don't condone that, and there, there's no need for it here, there's so much other stuff you could repurpose but uh yeah i'm going to steal this i'm going to use it for making my fire reflector uh, at least i'm going to use it for something <laughs> so i've got here i picked out a bit of wood these are going to be for my my four stakes uh well what i've done this this tree is quite handy dandy for a like a wee saw buck <laughs> So that's what I'm going to use that for. Um, I'm not going to keep you through the whole entire process of building it because one, it's actually the first time I built one and two, you've seen it on a thousand other channels, but thank you for a wee bit of it. Let's see. I don't want it crazy big, but... get the four out of this. Hopefully. Will we? Ooh, it's cutting it down. I don't want it too high anyway. So. Let's go for it. That's a wee bit shorter than I wanted there, but let's go for it. See how it works out. easier to sharpen these. Don't have my axe today, I just I wanted to keep the weight down a little bit. But I got my trusty blade so what I'm doing here is just kind of hacking off the main part of it. Maybe let me just take you around here a wee bit. Got my multi purpose log here. So, always be careful doing this with a, a knife or any sharp object. Oh, do. It's not terribly pointy, but. Only go on the ground. This one's going to take a little bit more work, I think. Even with this knife, this is a quite a heavy duty knife. Five and a half inch blade or six inch blade, I can't remember. And it's, uh, it's razor sharp and it's, you know, heavy as well. So that's a couple. I'll bring you back further in the process because I'm not gonna not gonna make you watch the whole thing. Uh, I've got a wee fire pit dug now. So we deflected there, the dug out, put the mud up there. I've just lined it with the offcuts from these. So that'll be just keep the flame off the hang out and make a nice bed of coals later on. I've not made it crazy deep, just a little bit, but as you see the soil it's it's very clay. 
it's, it's better up here for <coughs> pardon me fires I'm not gonna set the ground on fire so uh, with that said the last thing to do is collect some firewood and get a fire going because I don't know if you can see up through the forest there where well, it doesn't really show the colour on there but we're definitely losing light Anywho, yeah, so I'll get to collecting and uh, I'll maybe bring you back in a wee bit when I've, I've got a fire or something else going. Oh, I've also uh, finished off my hammock. So I've got my snug pack hammock blanket on there, uh, undercoat, sorry. And I've got the same sleeping bag I took last time, um, but I only have the outside part of it. What I've done is I've took my DD hammock quilt to put inside it and that's because I found uh, with the material they're quite quite um, quite slippy um, when you're inside them so I thought for a hammock that's probably not going to be the best so I thought for an extra little bit of insulation I'll take my hammock quilt um, and I can tuck my feet into it but I've only got the one layer down beneath me because I've got the the undercoat so I think that'll be I think that'll work out better. It's also slightly smaller, slightly lighter as well than the, the sleeping bag. Okay guys so yeah I better get a move on. Get a wee shifty. There's a couple of birch trees down birch trees here I'm gonna take some bark off of uh, and I'll get back to you. So as you can see I have some birch bark from the tree over there, it's quite fresh but it should still burn now, I don't know, in my past tries at it, I don't think that I uh, processed it enough before trying to light it so I'm trying to scrape a good a good little pile there What I've done as well, I don't know if you can see there, I've filed off the, the spine of my knife a little bit because I think this black coating on it was stopping it sparking particularly good. So I don't know. So we'll do a try and like that. And then we'll just take it over there to the fire. Oops. We'll get that going. Just let me get my... So, we're going to try the Some other birch bark here. A little bit wet on the inside though. No, come on. Come on, don't go out. You bugger. This stuff's a little bit wet on the inside. I took too much of the, the inside out. I'll tell you what we'll do. <coughs> uh, let's try that again. Process this stuff up as well, eh? Maybe. Maybe we'll get something that way. Oh, yeah, bugger. Well, that's good. Careful, people. I'll just cut myself.
You have to practice more with natural tinders and stuff, especially birch bark. There's, oh, there's loads of it here. You know? It's everywhere. This is the seems to be the drier piece. Okay, let's try that again, peoples. Try it over this way this time. Definitely sparking better now that I filed that coating off on my knife. Make these a bit smaller. Okay, so I think we're in business. You use about half or half a tree's worth of butt spot. I can get my smaller tinder on. Ah, there we go. I don't know. Everyone says do this, do that, do the next thing about fires. Move that, don't want to lose that. I just pile it on. Now be a bit more careful if it's wet, if it's maybe windy or I don't know, but in general, I just pile it on. So okay, that was kind of successful. Two takes and a cut finger. But I'm gonna count that as a as a worth it. Guys, I've got some. Uh, see it very well. Got some rice on here. I've got some water on for coffee. And I'm going to heat up this. Uh, oh, that's burning my leg off. I'm going to heat off this uh, Mexican chicken, which you see me eat before. Uh, definitely time for food because I am absolutely starving. I know everyone's going to get on to me about Ooh, you shouldn't burn your stuff when you're cooking on the fire. I'm sure I'll be okay. But yeah, I'll maybe bring you guys back when it's ready, but... Nice you set up here, my little fire reflector, my fire, my log for sitting on. Yeah, I think it's going to be quite a nice comfort, and I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to my hammock. Because although I don't mind ground dwelling, and I really like the the poaka I got, or Polish lavu, as you say. Um, I just don't feel as sore in the morning when I'm in a hammock. <laughs> Nothing comfier in a hammock when you're when you're camping, like. There we go guys, almost ready. Got rice boiling there and the Mexican chicken. And I've, uh, I've got my coffee. I'm truly looking forward to this because it's quite late now and uh, I've not eaten anything today. Like at all. So yeah. Wait until this is ready, a couple of minutes and uh, I'll get back to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
There we go, guys. This is the Mexican chicken and rice. Um, sadly, it's basically just rice now because the stick moved on the fire and I lost about half of what was in the tin. But, um, I'm super hungry, so it'll do. Mm. Well, I'm gonna spare you watching me eat this, and uh, I'll maybe bring you guys back in a little bit, depending on how I feel. I'm gonna eat this and uh, chill out in my hammock, I think. Bright night tonight, like. Like the camera can't pick it up, but let's see. I don't know if we see the. Ah, uh, uh, it doesn't pick it up. But yeah, you can see the moon there. But I can, I could, I could walk right out of these woods, no head torch, nothing, and be able to see all the way. <laughs> really bright night. Well, as you gents, I am tucked up in my hammock, in my sleeping bag. I'm really nice and super cosy now. And I'm uh, pretty tired, so... I think I'm going to watch a little bit of... Just lie here, watch a little bit of fire, and... Um, and maybe go to bed. If anything, hot, if anything awesome happens tonight, I'll obviously bring you back, but... Other than that, I'll see you in the morning. Oh. Morning, everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I had a lovely sleep. Uh, nice and quiet. Nice and warm. Uh, got up a couple of times and put some wood on the fire and maybe that's all burnt out. I don't even know if I'm going to get a fire going from that this morning. I need to start again. Yeah, I'm going to try and find the energy. <sighs> get my hammock because I'm comfy. And uh, get some coffee going in that. Yeah, that was a that was a nice night. So bright last night as well. Like just lying in my hammock, I could see right through the woods. It wasn't dark at all in the woods. Was the the moon was so bright. That was pretty cool actually. Anyway, I better get up. <sighs> now that's me all packed up. And ready to go. My wee log, that's where my hammock he was. My bag. I have left the fire pit there. Don't worry, that's good enough. I never I just it was out this morning. I put a wee bit of water on it. It's, it's not hot at all. I never had the fire this morning, I just got picked. Um <coughs> yeah, we'll I'll leave that there. So I'm gonna try this camp out for a bit. And um yeah, if it, if it works out, then I'll I'll keep it for a little bit. Um, I'll probably end up just getting rid of all that come the summer. I would say I'll fill all that in, put it back like it like it was. But hopefully, hopefully this one's good for even a couple of trips in the summer because like when I go with my little boy, this one's really not so far for him to walk. It'd be be a handy one. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so. Oh yeah, I meant to say as well, I, I just hit 300 subscribers. I know for a lot of people that's uh, small numbers, but um, no, I'm, I'm really grateful to all you guys for uh, for subscribing, for liking, uh, sharing. Um, so yeah, hopefully, my, my target really is the, the 1,000, if, if we get there. But uh, yeah, again, thanks, thanks to all my subscribers. And I'll uh, see all you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.